analysis and remediation of groundwater using oleophilic mock sequence. Groundwater accounts for about 25 to 40% of the total drinking water available on the Earth's surface. So spillage from storage tanks pose a huge threat to the groundwater availability. For any remediation treatment to be successful, it should be able to remove the entire oil component as well as the economical feasibility. This is where oleophilic mock sequence come into play. They fulfill both these above criteria. The objectives of this experiment are as follows identification of the oil spillage source and the extent of impact of the groundwater, drilling at the source so as the oleophilic mock skimmers can be uh, placed into the borehole, uh, testing of the equipment for EX class 2 certifications, and finally to remediate the oil content of the groundwater. Equipment setup consists of the interface meter, the oleophilic mops, the mop weight, and the solar power. So the mop weights are placed to keep the oleophilic mop in place when it's fed into the borehole. The interface meter gives the first intermediate deep sound when it comes in contact with the oil or water surface. The solar power is being used in this experiment, considering the high classification EXP classifications required in the area and surroundings. The methodology is also classified into two, the first one being the evaluation of the magnitude of leakage. This is being used by river monitoring system and also by CAD detection software. Fol followed by is the remediation equipment itself, whereas where the oleophilic mop are fed into the borehole operated on the solar panel through which a motor rotates the oleophilic mop into the borehole and the oil is taken out of it as it is having high affinity towards the oil base only. The conclusion from this is basically the main advantage of an oleophilic skimmer is that it can cover a large surface area and also there is minimum displacement of water taking place in this process and hence it maximizes the efficiency. And compared to the other traditional methods available, this can be used for both horizontal and vertical wells which provides an added advantage.